Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name's Paula. So today is short and sweet and it's all about the hips. And we're going to get in quite deep, particularly the outer hips here, our glutes. So if you've got a little bit of a sore back, this is quite a good practice to do. Um, and also if you've been doing a lot of sitting, you could do this in the morning or in the evening. It's really like an anytime practice. So all you need is yourself, get yourself comfortable. And we're gonna make a start seated. So when you're ready, just coming down onto your mat, coming into a simple cross-legged position. And we're going to start with the hands, just resting lightly on the legs and closing down the eyes. I'm just taking these first few moments just to settle. Just notice your breathing. And giving yourself this time to arrive. Just feeling into your seat. So those sitting bones, just gently grounding down and starting to lift up and away from your seat. So sense of the crown of the head lifting up towards the ceiling. Just allowing the face to be soft and the shoulders soft. And let's slow down the inhale and slow down the exhale. And just continue with that, just gently lengthening the in-breath and the out-breath. And if you can, breathing in and out through the nose. Just noticing how that starts to slow everything down. And let's open up the eyes when you're ready. Hands by your side. Let's have the right leg in front to start off with here. Taking an inhale to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. And as you exhale, starting to walk your hands forward just to where you can, you might stay a bit more upright. If it's available, if it feels comfortable, you might come as far forward as you can. Palms flat down. Keep pressing the sitting bones back as you lengthen out through both sides of the waist. Just relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Just taking one more deep inhale. As you exhale, see if there's any more space, maybe to just to creep forward just a little bit more. And then walking your hands back upright. And then taking that right hand away from the hip, give yourself plenty of space there so you can place the palm flat and then take that left arm up and over. It's coming over into a side bend. You might be able to come all the way down onto your forearm, but just keep that left sitting bone grounding down. Reach out through the left fingertips that right shoulder dropping away from the ear and that left sitting bone pressing down. And if it's available, turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Taking one more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale, reach out through the top fingers and then turn the head to look back to center. Drop that left arm down, point the fingers down and let the head relax. So just get a little bit of a stretch along that left side neck, taking an in breath. And then as you exhale, imagine someone's pulling you up as the head keeps dropping down, coming all the way back upright. And then let's swap the legs around. So we'll pop that left leg in front, fingertips 
by your side, take an inhale, lengthen up through the waist, and then as you exhale, walking your hands forward. And again, just stay somewhere that feels like it's right for you, not too deep, you wanna keep that breath open. Shoulders dropping away from the ears. Pressing those sitting bones back. One more full breath, inhaling. And then as you exhale, seeing if there's any more space, maybe creeping a little bit further forward. And then walking your hands back. Taking that left hand away from the left hip, give yourself plenty of space, left hand palm flat down. Take that right arm up and over, coming over into your side bend variation here, maybe coming all the way down to the forearm. Just your choice here. Press down through that right sitting bone. Left shoulder dropping away from the ear. And maybe turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down through that right sitting bone. Just one more full breath, inhale. Stay for the exhale, press that right sitting bone down, reach out through the top fingers. Let's turn the head to look back to center and then bring that right arm back down. Everything else stays the same for a moment. Point the fingers down, let the head relax towards the left shoulder and just getting a little bit of a stretch on that right side neck. And then on the next in breath, let's imagine someone's pulling you up, letting the head trail behind a little bit there, coming all the way back up. And then let's extend the legs out long. Keeping the feet hip distance apart for now. So feet are flexed and pressing down through the backs of the thighs. And just for a moment, let's try to press the palms of hands down or you might just stay up on your fingertips. Tips of the shoulders pressing down, lengthening up through the spine. Find the breath. And then sweep the arms forward and up. We're going to take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, start to fold forward over the legs. And we don't have to go too far here. We're just going to let the body relax as much as you need to. Bring the hands down. Sweep the palms of the hands down on your mat. About a forearm's distance behind your fingers pointing forward, palms flat. Bend the knees, feet come flat onto the mat. And then lift your hips up into your tabletop here. Press the chest up towards the ceiling. Keep looking forward, taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, let those hips drop down, extend the legs up long, bringing the arms up, taking an inhale, and then exhale, folding forward just to where you can, bring the hands down, sweep the hands back, forearms distance behind you, palms flat, bend the knees, and then lifting the hips up, taking an inhale here, pressing that chest up, and then as you exhale, drop the hips down, extend the legs out long, arms come up one more time, inhaling, and then exhale, folding forward here, and sweeping the hands back about a forearm's distance behind you. We're gonna hold this last one. Option here for anyone who'd like to take it to keep the legs straight and long. So your choice, I'm gonna press down through the feet, lift the hips up, keep pressing that sternum up as well, opening up through the collarbones. Keep breathing here. We're just gonna hold just for three. If it feels comfortable, you might be able to let your head relax back. For three, for two, for one. Lifting the head back up, taking an inhale, and then exhale, let's all lower the hips back down. Releasing those hands. Take the arms up, take an inhale. Feel free to separate the feet again if they were together and then folding forward just for a couple of breaths. Let's just keep this nice and easy where you can keep the knees slightly bent. Let the spine curve. And then inhale, coming back upright. So for now, we're gonna take our bow and arrow action here. So with the first two fingers taking hold of the right big toe, left hand by your side. If you can't hold onto your big toe, you could use a strap or you could even hold behind the ankle or even just hold behind the knee. Lifting that right leg up and then drawing the knee in towards the armpit and then letting it go forward, letting that 
torso follow along as you come forward. Draw the knee in, let it go forward, and then letting yourself fold down. Keeping the breath nice and open here. So I like to inhale as I draw the knee in and then exhale as I go forward. Take a pace that feels good for you here as well. So if you feel like you wanna go a little bit slower, just absolutely feel free to do that. And if it's available, you might be able to get into a, it's a spring action where the leg coming down actually pulls the torso forward. So not so much effort. You're trying to release the torso as you go forward. We're just going to go one more time. And then releasing. Take the hands back a forearms distance. We're going to take tabletop just in between sides, lifting the hips up. Take one full breath here. And then let's release the hips down. Extending the legs out long. Taking the left big toe with the first two fingers of your left hand, right hand by your side. Draw that left knee in, inhale, and then exhale to come forward. And again. Try to lengthen up through the spine as much as you can. You can start to get into a quite a curved spine, especially when this knee comes back. Just do the best you can. You're trying to lift up out of the lower back as that left knee comes in. And just go a couple more. And last one. And then coming back upright, bring those hands back once again. Let's take our tabletop just to uh, refresh there. Drawing across the collarbones, one full breath. And then let's drop the hips down, extend the legs back out long. Now we're going to take this right foot on top of this left thigh. Try to keep the left toes pointing up towards the ceiling, hands by your side, lifting up out of the lower back. If this is a struggle for you, kind of being in this upright position, you could always sit on a cushion or a blanket as well here. We're trying to encourage this right knee to drop down. This might be plenty for you. Feel free to stay here. If you can, we're going to bend into this left leg and let that right knee keep dropping down. You can bring the hands back behind you to help you lift up out of the lower back. Stay with your breath. And then one more option here to go a little bit further if that's available for you. So we're going to cradle. So we're going to place this right foot into that left forearm or if you can, all the way to the elbow. And then we're going to wrap this right arm around, holding onto the hands. And then if it's possible, extend that left leg long, flexing that left foot up towards the ceiling. Keep lifting up out of the lower back here. You can keep the eyes steady, looking towards the left big toe. We're going to take a little rock with this right leg if you're holding the leg from side to side. And if you're holding stillness, just stay with your breathing. And the next time we rock over to the left, we're going to stay there slightly, keep lifting up out of the lower back and then turn the head to look over the right shoulder. Keep both feet flexed. Noticing if you can soften on the exhale. And then let's come back to center and just release wherever you are extending both legs long. Give the legs a little bit of a, a wriggle out there. And then let's go to the other side. So we'll place that left foot. So we're starting down on the ground, letting that left knee just drop down, hands by your side, just to help you lift up out of the lower back. And then option here to bend into that right leg. 
Might need a little bit more support here to lift up out of the lower back. Just noticing if you can drop that left knee a little bit further away from the left shoulder. And then we're going into our last option here. So feel free to stay here. But for those of you that want to go a bit further, either taking that left foot into the forearm or into the nook of the elbow, wrapping it around, wrapping that left arm around, lifting up out of the lower back, and then possibly extending that right leg long, flexing the right foot up towards the ceiling. Shoulders dropping away from the ears. Letting the eyes rest on the right big toe, particularly if you've got that right leg long. And then we're going to take that little rock from side to side here. Notice if you start to hold your breath, it's, this can be very strong. Just try to keep it open. And then the next time we go to the right, we're gonna hold it over to the right slightly and then turn the head to look over the left shoulder. And then let's bring the head back to center and then everyone releasing down. Give the legs a little bit of a wriggle out. Nice work there. Let's come down onto the back. And then once you're down on the back, let's bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop open wide. And if that does not feel good for you for any reason, you could go the opposite direction and have the knees falling in together so the feet as wide as the mat. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up, and invitation to close the eyes if that feels good for you. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two more times like that. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last one. Noticing if you can surrender the weight of the body on the exhale, inhaling. And exhaling. Just coming back to breathing in and out through the nose. Just allowing gravity to take the weight of the body. And whenever you're ready, you can bring the knees up and extend them long into your Shavasana. Just letting the feet fall away from one another. Just noticing that entire back surface of the body pressing into the ground underneath you. allowing the face to be soft. Just gently unhinging the jaw. Just allowing yourself to come to rest Just for the next few minutes.
if you notice the mind wandering here, just gently bring yourself back to the breathing. So that very light attention on the breath. Inhale, belly rising. Exhale, belly falling. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time.